you know, it's really good to just be a badass man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm having a blast because yeah. I get to be messy. Yeah. yeah. You know, we girls, we don't get to be messy. We're always so worried about people liking us and thinking we're cute. Keeps I think the guessing. big revelation is at 50 being a dark skinned woman of color that people have an understanding that I can be messy, I could be interesting, I could be sexualized, I could be very much a woman. I think that in and of itself is really progressive. I wanna talk a little bit about the night you made history and won an Emmy. What is something that you remember from that night? I was so nervous that I felt like it was overwhelming everything else. And then the moment they called my name, I became hyper-focused. So usually the tears happens, the release happens, but as God would have it, it was just the absence of all of that. Because I felt that that moment needed to be about something bigger than me, saying that I'm the first African-American to win in that role, which um, was about how women of color are included in the narrative. I always want people to understand that without the opportunity, you can't shine. Mm -hmm. Meryl Streep would not be Meryl Streep without the narrative, which is Sophie's Choice, A Cry in the Dark, A Devil Wears Prada. And it works the same with us. We always want to be included in the narrative as a part of the conversation. I always say just because we're 12.5% of the population, it doesn't mean we want 12.5% of the mm -hmm. pie. We want the whole pie, mm -hmm. just like you want the whole pie. We want it all all the things that could bring out our gifts. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is Suicide Squad. Yeah, You're a the Joker. Could... Yeah. He did some bad things, Jared Leto did. He gave some really horrific gifts. He had a henchman who would come into the rehearsal room and the henchman came in with a dead pig and plopped it on the table. And then he walked out. And that was our introduction into Jared Leto. Now, I'm terrified just as a person thinking, is he crazy? But the second part was, oh, shit, I got to have my stuff together. You talk about commitment. And then he sends Margot Roby a black rat that was still alive in a box. She screamed. And then she kept it. <laughs> what advice would you give to a 10-year-old girl? I say it to my daughter all the time, that what's the most important part of you at Genesis? She says... My heart and my head, mommy. I think that's the best uh, message I could give to the young girls out there. Love you. Be you.